warming up the car, getting ready for jazz band. 7.05. Okay, it is now 7.37. I dropped Jaden off at jazz band and I'm on my way home and I'm just planning out my day, <laughs> which is insane. Um, I do know that I'm washing blankets today, horse blankets, because we have so many horses. There's probably about 30 horse blankets that we're washing. We're going to power wash them first, just so that our washing machine doesn't have to work so hard. But it's one of the last days of the year that we can wash them outside because it is still warm for October here in Manitoba, but it probably won't stay warm forever. So, I'm going to power wash these blankets and then we have to put the power washer away um, for the year. And then the other thing I have to do, which I love to do, is coaching three lessons this evening. So, 5.15, 6.15, 7.15. And so those are the must-do, have-do, have-to-do's. Alright, it's now 9.22 and I'm leaving my house. Uh, Mondays are usually my organization day, um, but actually uh, I don't usually go out to the barn until 8.30 anyway, so um, I want the horses to get a bit of turnout before I go and ride them. Uh, but Mondays I do a bit extra organizing. So just finished cleaning the horses' saddle pads. Uh, they're in the dryer right now. Ooh, a pin. Um, so the horse laundry is in the washing machine and cleaned uh, the office and my bedroom uh, because like when, oh gosh, when you have so many projects, if you don't keep a clean, organized space, things are actually just going to take you longer. So it feels like, <laughs> oh gosh, I haven't got onto the barn, it's 9.30. However, doing that preemptive stuff will save me time later because I won't be looking for whatever it is I'm looking for. So, um, and then the other thing is I have uh, a goal of losing a specific, not necessarily losing a specific, specific amount of weight, but um, becoming fitter by Christmas. And so... Uh, like one of my highest goals that I have is, um, that, that is one of my highest goals. So, um, I'm going to try and make an effort to put things in the slow cooker so that when I come in for lunch, I have proper food to eat <laughs> uh, rather than just grab whatever. So that'll be ready for six hours from now. And then we took stuff out of the freezer for tomorrow and the other thing is like with moving house we definitely want to uh, clean out our freezer so we have a ton of food that we need to get rid of now I'm actually just going to put my bags in the tack room before go going to grab the first horse and she hasn't been ridden in a while so um, she's going to be quiet. <laughs> she just, no matter how long you leave her, she's always quiet, which is pretty great. Yeah, so that's where the morning is at. Oh, do I leave my coffee or do I bring it with me? It would be easier if I leave it here. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? I need some bribery. There we go. We have to pay the tax in order to, <laughs> the pony tax in order to catch them. She loves her treats. Yeah, so feeling a little less overwhelmed now that the house is cleaned up. We have a boatload of projects. And even though we have a boatload of projects on the go, I want to make sure that I'm still getting the horses that I want to get ridden ridden and so I might actually 
have to farm a couple of them out to students or something. <laughs> Just because, my goodness, is there, there's a list of things to do. So, and that's actually another thing, is I've decided what's the number of horses that I want to ride in a day. And at max, that's three. However, if I up my students or something like that, I might only want to ride two horses a day, given all the other stuff that we do in a day. Where the heck is she? Oh, she's over here. So, um, one of my other high goals is to sell some of my sales horses, even if it means like they're being priced below market. Um, just, I want to make sure that they get to great homes and then having one less horse to ride or one less horse to be on my mental <laughs> plate is going to make me feel so much better. I know. for about two years, but she, uh, because I have so many sales horses, I just feel like I'm not working with all of them the way that I want to. And so she, unfortunately, um, got put on the back burner uh, a little bit. So she's still green, but man, does she have a good, good attitude. All right, into the arena we go. Dort! Oh, somebody left the lights on. Whoopsies. So I just gave Sky a little bit of a stretch out and um, she actually looked a little sore, which is weird because she was completely sound last week. So I'm gonna go into the barn and see if we can find out exactly where she is sore. Um, but it definitely looked like maybe one of her front legs looked a little, maybe it's in her neck. So she actually, her injury actually, come here little lady, was um, in her neck. We actually think she got like caught up in a fence. And so that's why I'm not sure if it's in her chest or in her leg but feeling around should tell us exactly where it is. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, another gorgeous day. Okay, so she has 15, well, 13 minutes left on her um, cold laser treatment. And so how I like to multiply my time is um, doing my organizing. Uh, so we have a couple things on the go. We have the new house build. We have the lesson schedule, um, sales horse, like when I'm meeting people, um, that type of thing. So I want to make sure that like all the projects, like the different types. So the house stuff gets done, the client stuff gets done, and then the riding stuff gets done according to the goals that I have for the riding. So this is the perfect time to do that, because otherwise I would just be standing here doing nothing. So, what I want to do is, oh, she really likes, <laughs> I'm going to start with the house building. So there's two, two kind of projects that I'm involved in, and then Justin's doing all the rest. And the first one is the There you go. <laughs> oh, she's releasing a lot. <laughs> and actually, I don't mind the vibe sitting there because that's the muscle that's really tight is that like, right underneath her throat. So I'm actually just going to leave it right there. I'm not actually going to move it. So anyway, back to the projects that I'm involved in with the new house is the mudroom shelves. And I'm so happy because we were going to build these shelves even before the house got here. 
and then the house got here and we moved part of the shelf that we built and it was too big. So I'm so glad, like we have all the lumber ready to go, but I'm so glad I didn't um, build all of them because they, would, they wouldn't fit well in that space. So mudroom shelves slash mud room planning. And that is gonna be a type B project. Type A's are gonna do them like immediately. Type B is, it's okay. So it's a type B, it's not a type C because type B is, I do have to get it done because I wanna stain them before the weather turns, but I don't have to get it done this second. And then the other project that I'm involved in is um, figuring out where exactly we're going to put the shipping container. Are we going to put the door in the shipping container? Um, like that type of thing and like how we're going to line up our driveway. So I'm going to put shipping container planning. Because once that is in, then we can really organize our basement of like, hey, what's going over the new house? Like what's, what's going into storage? What's going to just <laughs> go away? Uh, we're going to give away a lot of stuff. So I have so much riding stuff from years and years ago that I'm never going to use. So we're just going to give it away to anybody who wants it. Um, at some point, like you could have a garage sale and sell this stuff, but for me, I just don't have the time to organize stuff like that. So I'd rather just <laughs> have a <laughs> come take it <laughs> policy. <laughs> um, okay, so that is that. And then once that is here, then we can organize our house. So those are the two projects for that. Then, for this, it is the 28th today. So that means I have month end coming up. So I'm gonna do that actually on the Thursday, like on the month end day. And that's all accounting work. So hopefully the weather isn't good because otherwise I'll be <laughs> indoors going, I should be riding. <laughs> and then um, we also, uh, oh right, that was the other project I'm involved in, is um, designing the bathroom and the storage room in the basement. And that's gotta get done. That's a type A project that has to get done right away. So shipping containers type B. Um, bathroom design, that is a type A. And so then those are the three projects I'm involved in. Justin does, is doing everything else. So month end the county is going to be on the Thursday. I'm going to go pay the property tax here on Wednesday. Hey, Justin. Oh, he's not in here. Um, so I might go, I wonder if I have to go and get dimensions for the bathroom before they put the drainage in in the bathroom. Okay, so when's, I'm gonna do on Wednesday, I'm gonna go pay the property tax. So if that's the day I'm leaving, so then today I'm cleaning blankets. So that means that today and tomorrow are riding days. Wednesday, Thursday, I'll be out of the saddle and then Friday I'll be a riding day. So riding, Friday and Saturday. And then something's coming to see a horse this weekend. It's riding today and tomorrow. So this week I have four days of riding, two days out of the saddle, 
managing facility stuff. And then that means when cleaning blankets, when the heck am I going to build those shelves just so I can stain them? Hopefully it's warm next week. <laughs> okay, so it is 1030. So I think what I've decided to do is I know I'm coaching tonight um, and I have to clean blankets. So I might play with designing the base bed, but not have like anything official. Um, but like I could be doing that like while cleaning the blankets, just like playing with stuff in my head and then um, running by Justin because he'll be helping me clean blankets. So then we're kind of like on the same page of like what we want. And then tomorrow I'm going to ride three horses in the morning. Um, probably Ozzy and Hanny and maybe her if she's feeling better. <laughs> If not her, then Comps. And then um, I have to go to, I'm not coaching that night, so I'll do the Costco. On the way home, I pay property taxes type thing. So yeah, like that'll be like half on the property, half off the property. And then on Thursday, also not a riding day, I will hopefully build those shelves um, so that I can stain them. And then uh, do accounting and then in the evening do some coaching and then Thursday is Halloween <laughs> um, but that will be a day for month end accounting so again there's gonna be no riding on that day but um, it's yeah when you're a facility owner you have to <laughs> you got to do the adult things and then Friday and Saturday are free days so those are riding, but um, I won't have like a jam packed day. So from today until Thursday, it's going to be quite busy. <laughs> so just finished planning my week. Uh, it's actually almost too ambitious of a plan. So I might be setting myself up for disaster. Ugh. Okay, so next weekend, I forgot we're actually having an open house on our current house. Anyway, yeah, so that's going to be Sunday. Open house show horse. I'm not even sure. <laughs> this one might be <laughs> borderline stupid. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> ambitious is not even a word. Too insane is a word I would use. But then actually once once this those projects that like have to get done are done. Oh that's a little bit um the next week actually is quite a bit lighter because if I finish organizing that basement stuff, you know maybe that's pretty sore right there. Um, if I finish organizing that basement stuff, then next week, once those decisions are made, I go back to riding, which is pretty great, but it's annoying to like, kind of have to get like, keep pulled out of the saddle to go and do tons of different facility things, like doing the admin work <laughs> or <laughs> building a house. <laughs> Because I do want to stay on top of the riding and make sure like that is a priority. Oh, she feels it right there. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, well, actually, I think I found the spot where she's uh, kind of tight. <laughs> So hopefully, just by pulling blood flow in, she will be, um, and I'll just be able to like recover faster. That's, that's my whole plan is rehab fast so that we can place her in the best home possible. Hey, pretty girl.
Ugh. Hey, I think I found what the problem was. She has a micro cut. It's so small on her left front. I didn't see it while we were in the barn. Hey, mister. All right. No, I do. Um, so I have like two sets. So like every week I rotate. If that makes sense. So yeah. like on Mondays I clean saddle pads. But yeah, there's a lot more to clean this week than normal. <laughs> Talk to that friend. <laughs> My watch said, what is it saying? It's saying, your stand goal is achieved. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> Telling me I'm standing around. <laughs> Every, we have to teach you yeah. constantly that <laughs> you're, you're not the king of the herd. <laughs> yeah, and mo not playing with his mouth is probably not, probably not the greatest. Greatest. You're just cute. You're so cute though. I know. Not fully installed. Oh, so pop it back out. Yeah. yeah. We're, just, we're just gonna hold it in place with a couple of screws and then yeah. pull it out. And... Expecting to call them this morning, they're like, Yeah, we'll pop right over. <laughs> like, really? That, that happens in the no, construction world? No, not really. Not really. I got it. Yeah, the stars align for that one. Yeah, I'm fixing it. Baby Oz during tack up had his eyes a little too wide for me. <laughs> He was looking for mischief, and we're like, I haven't even started yet. He looks for mischief every time I walk out the door. Oh, shoot. I forgot I wasn't wearing half chaps. Where's your boots? Yeah, I've got them right here, though. Can you hold them just for a sec? I know he's done out there. It is Oz. Didn't have real Whoops. I realized that before getting to the arena. I'm going to the Jets game tonight, George. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can tell. Something tells me Evo's not a hockey fan either. Uh, he's gone, but uh, he, him and his buddy that went, uh, they were chatting so much that the lady behind him said, Do you guys even like hockey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's our joke. Do you even like hockey? Do you even like hockey? Do you even like, hockey? Do you even like horses? Do you even like horses? <laughs> Started going to see the Jets was was the the big yeah. party room thing. And I was like, yeah, this is. Our I could room. do this. Yeah. <laughs> when we were living in Calgary, I don't know why, but we got invited to so many box seats all the time. All the time. <laughs> if we wanted to, it's every way to meet people, right? Like, yeah, it was constant people. though. Yeah. I don't know how we which we was, were always in suites. <laughs> which is surprising because I usually don't like people. Oh, Justin! Like, You're on camera? Why, why are they inviting me? <laughs> that's a good sound. That's, no, that's a good name. That's his day to day. Really like He's people. like Seinfeld. <laughs> Just constantly saying stuff. I decided to do one more, <laughs> even if it's just a short ride. I really want to ride this guy today. I'm not a TikTok person. <laughs> That's just not my personality. Probably because I'm an accountant. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I love YouTube. I learned so much off of YouTube. I think I've saved myself thousands upon thousands of dollars on YouTube. Like the number of laptops I've fixed on my own <laughs> yeah. from watching a YouTube video or figuring out how to use a phone off of a YouTube video. Um, and then watching professionals ride horses and adding their tools to our toolbox. Yeah, so I am a YouTube person, so because I watch it so much, I, I'm comfortable making videos on it. Rider on his back. I think it's because he's got. 
such a big step, he has to figure out how to carry my weight while maintaining the step. Good boy. Oh. So I'm off to coach. I'm gonna end this vlog here, but since I last talked to you, I got off Hammy. Um, I took a friend to see the new house and while we were there, the plumber showed up. So then we started talking about, okay, this is where the drainage is gonna go uh, in the basement, which means now we do have to go and buy um, stuff for the basement tomorrow. So we know the exact dimensions of the tub or at least know what we're gonna install <laughs> so that has to get done tomorrow and then jack hammering the floor so the um, plumbing can go in the ground that also has to get done tomorrow <laughs> it's kind of busy all around anyway uh after that uh we went out for up to the house for lunch and um then i took a break <laughs> Justin did the blankets. I didn't have to do the blankets, but at least like he's going to the Jets game, so he doesn't care. <laughs> and uh, I took a break and now I'm off to coach. Anyway, thanks for watching.